woke up and wished that I was dead With an aching in my head I lay motionless in bed I thought of you And where you'd gone Let the world spin madly on And everything that I said Definitely thousands of dollars yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably a lot, like a hundred, like ten thousand. Half a million dollars. <laughs> how many weekends are there? Yeah, how many weekends? Yeah. Multiply we'll we'll that by ten. Like three million, probably. Five million. If I had to guess, probably like twenty million. Five hundred thousand. Five million. I say nine hundred seventy-five thousand. Ten million. Not a good amount. A lot. I watch the stars from my windowsill. Dang. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Hell. Stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Billion? Billion. Alright, well. Ninety-nine percent? <laughs> Everyone will take a sip sometime during their high school career for sure. Ninety percent. 90. Okay. 90%. 80%. The night is here, and the day is gone, and the world spins mad Every 30 minutes. Uh, thought of you, the way you go, and the world spins mad. When I was 10 years old, my dad passed away from a drunk motorcycle accident. My family was having a huge party, and he got on the neighbor's motorcycle and crashed right down the street from my house. This video is called every like 30 minutes, but 30 seconds don't go by where I'm not thinking about him. So you shouldn't drive when you're drunk, because it might be just around the corner from your house, but my dad died basically on the street I lived on. Last year in September, um, my cousin was killed in a drunk driving accident on South Amato Boulevard and he was the only person in the car that was not under the influence um, and he's also the only person that died. And that was the hardest day of my entire life. I just get flashes of it like all the time just thinking about him and cousin. my cousin was only 15. It was He was going to turn 16 in November because if you're putting your life at risk, you're also risking your family's life because they're going to be so upset and so hurt by what's happened. As a teacher, there is no more disheartening feeling than one day having a student in a seat in your class, and the next day that seat is empty. Uh, there was one little girl, Gracie, who was in one of my Spanish classes, the most vivacious and spunky little freshman you could ever want to see. Uh, that night, she went to a Halloween party. And at the end of the night, about eight kids all piled into one car. And Gracie was sitting on the lap of someone in the passenger seat. And the driver had had something to drink at that party. And on the way home, the driver of the car rolled the car, went down an embankment. Gracie was ejected through the windshield and killed. The driver was injured and went to the hospital, but her blood alcohol level was not over the legal limit. And she never realized, the driver never realized, the extent to which she would be judged and ostracized and shunned when she came back to school. It happened in the blink of an eye, but the driver's life was changed forever People hated her for having killed Gracie. I remember coming to work on the 1st of November with my face painted as a skeleton. My principal ran out to meet me in the parking lot and said, you cannot go to your class that way. And he told me why. That Gracie had been killed in a car accident the night before. And I fell to my knees in the parking lot. I was overcome with grief and emotion. I couldn't believe it. It was completely inconceivable to me 
that this girl who had been so alive just the day before, so helpful, so smiling, so energetic, was gone forever. I, I graduated from Drake in 83, and three kids died while I was here at Drake from drunk driving accidents. All three of them were on White's Hill. All three just had beer. Just one drink. It is not, not, not worth it. It's just not. I just, I can't, cannot stress that enough. And even now, the grief that it causes people, it is just, it's sad. Some man live his life for profits alone. That very same man, he lives his life all alone. On any road to life, yes, it goes up and down. It doesn't really matter as long as the music goes on. But Mr. Golden Man, why don't you come round no more? But Mr. Golden, Golden Man, don't you hear me trouble call? But Mr. Golden Man, don't you hear me come to disturb? Stop it, come round here unless you've got this sense of I never needed any reason for me to say Through all those troubled times, ask me love you anyway